Oh, the color? Yeah. It's made up of two tints, uh, brown and black, universal tints, and glaze, latex glaze, and water. So you've got the color here, so I would take another container and mix, oh, and white base coat, just plain latex base coat. Uh, I don't want to put too much on because it's really hot, so I didn't yes. put much on. And you just turn your tool okay. like that, see, because there's a grain there. Right. But what you really want to do, I mean, to be really, really professional is you need to go from end to end. And you can't do this very often. Might have too much on there, huh? You'll you'll figure it out. It, Get a feel it takes for that. a while, yeah. And when they're up on the third floor, who's going to see it? Oh, he's a painter. So something like that. Yeah, and I would go with that in first because you started there, and it's so hot that it's drying quickly. Something like that. Yeah. Although that's a little heavy it's a there. It's a little heavy. And then we've got to watch out for stuff like that. It could be that or it'll give just you. Or that'll give it a nice natural yeah. grain. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try another one and try going a little bit lighter. Now just stand back and see what you think about all of your graining as a whole. Look at it. Take this silly thing out of the way. Oh, here's another surface. Oh, yeah. So, what do you think? Well, I think it's a little too uh, too much of the. Not enough of the base coat coming through on that one. Base coat. And remember to look like when you look at the uh, wood on the building and you look at some of the um, balustrade. All of the grain is different. Some of it's darker, some of uh -huh. it's very light. Some of it you mostly see the base coat, and some of it you see a lot of grain. Okay. So, you know, you don't want everything to be the same. It's really just a matter so of we'll practice. So we'll make sure we have some variation. And yeah, yeah. And you know what you can do, too? Take your base coat. Have you got base coat around here? We do. Great. Let's take the base coat and a paintbrush. Now he's going, yep. You've got to remember working in the sun and the heat like this, your brushes are going to dry out immediately. So stuff like this, you don't want to happen. You want to go, yeah, all the way across. You want to go all the way across. Yeah, yeah. You've got to, you, you know, you're young and, and it's not that big. You can do it. Because <laughs> this is what you don't want. You don't right, want any gotcha. meeting lines here, which yep. you don't really need. But to my exactly. mind, that looks lighter. If I'm stand away from it and see how how much how nice it looks it looks lighter yes i really liked what that was doing initially mm -hmm. i think what happened was the brush got a little too, too dry, dry mm -hmm. and it kind of has that dry brush to look to should pose <laughs> Ta -da! here we are the painter and the faux painter yeah. know, i used to go into the paint store and the guys would say so are you a real painter <laughs> Yes, I'm a real painter. Look at these overalls. <laughs> That's great.